What is going on there guys? Welcome back to the Blackpool career mode in FIFA 23. So we are just a bit, well we're nearly at the end of the transfer window. Um, just as I say that, we're getting off for Christopher Wu. Not interested in letting him go right at this moment because he's going to be coming very very useful this season with all the fixtures we're going to have with all the European football and stuff. So I'm definitely going to be keeping him around. Uh, but we are a couple of weeks away from the end of the transfer window. We could still do some stuff, depending on what happens. Um, I've not really got anyone in mind. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, we've got this game against Aston Villa. I'm probably going to simulate this one because we, we played the first game of the season. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, oh, brilliant. We win. Bama Gittins with another with a brace and Camavinga, nice sir. Shaw Tyre scored against us as well. My, my player who I've got out on loan. He'll actually come out back off loan in January, I believe. So um, I was debating whether to maybe bring him back, but um, I want to kind of keep him in. He's obviously getting played, so. We're going to start there. Uh, we've got this game against Charlton. These early games in the Cups, I'm more than happy to, to simulate. Um, as I said, we should be absolutely obliterating this team. And we do, well, we don't obliterate him, but Camavinga and Gabriel gets us the goals, and we will go advance into. Now that I have won the FA Cup as well, I will want to go more for the EFL Cup than the FA Cup, because I want to I want at least win every competition at least once in, in this career, man. I feel like that's one thing I definitely want to do. So we'll see how that goes. Um, definitely want to play this game against Liverpool, but I don't know how the team's going to be. Cause I did rotate the team, but there'll be a couple of players tired. By the way, I think we've actually... We are in Europa League, so we have got our group. And Blackpool have got... AZ, Vincent and Hibernian. Okay. Fair enough, I'll take that. I don't think that's too bad at all. I think I think we've got a decent decent um group there, in all honesty. I think I like could that's something we can work with. Let's just have a, just um another proper look at it. So we've got AZ I don't know who that Jill Vincente is. Obviously Bernie and the Scottish team. Again, that's that's a relatively. I'd say we should actually get out of that group. I'd say. I mean, you look at some of the teams we could have got: like Valencia, Sporting CP, Florentina were in there. West Ham, obviously, we couldn't get West Ham. Um, Roma, we could have got. Um, Leon, Leverkusen, Monaco. I'm trying to see what like the group of death would have been. Really, there's not really any group of death to be fair. So this game against Liverpool, we're going to play in Anfield. I'm going to be putting out my best start at 11. Camavinga's is a little bit tired, but he should be fine for the majority of the game. So we'll see how we do. Let's get into it. I'm not actually sure. If, I don't actually think we've actually played at Anfield yet. I don't think we played the eight Liverpool at Anfield last season. I think uh, I simulated that one. So. I feel like we're a little bit more equally matched. I still think they're more above us. We are actually level one points after two games. With a win and a draw. We are getting there. We're actually unbeaten to the start of the season. So I want to keep this going as much as possible. So we've still got Alisson in goal. David Calabria, Araujo, Tomorrow. That's a whole new back line. Come on, Leyman, Sangara. That's a whole new midfield. Kulzeski, Nunes and Gakpo. Nunes and Gakpo are the only players left. Luis Diaz is in there. I don't know where the hell Salah is. He can't have retired yet, I can't imagine. So a full st starting 11 out there, as usual. Again, good team. Again, I'm just sort of working out this team as if there's anywhere I need to improve on right now. I didn't. I want to sort of give everyone the benefit of the doubt at the start of the season. See how we do. Um, at the minute, most players are doing themselves justice. 
Let's get into this game, guys. Against Liverpool, it's a big, big game. He's already got sent off. Nunes just literally turned and he's just got. Oh, I hate him. I hate him. I hate Nunes. Okay, so we just made like the possible worst start in Premier League history. Like, there's nothing worse than that. Oh. My God. And Gray actually went the right way. Just that's just too big a penalty. And I'm going to have to bring a midfielder off for a defender now. Great. Oh, Edwards. Oh, this could be good. Um, of course, I was going to, I was going to try and square it, but just. The pass wasn't on. Oh, I hate him! I hate him! I hate him! I hate him! I want him to go away! What the hell is that? What? How the hell did Kolozeski get that? Just this is what I mean. It doesn't matter what you do against some of these teams. They just gotta overpower you so harshly. easy that's nice and easy get the ball Yates oh, he's not gonna get it but okay I don't give a shit give it a damn I, I don't know what you're doing just get a ball great stuff there I don't know why you're doing that oh that's brilliant that is brilliant and now Jerry Yates Jerry is! It's 2 2! How are we doing this? Oh, come on! Let's go! I don't know why the celebration starts showing, but I know you have a damn. I'm gonna have to bring Kevin Finger off soon because he is absolutely dying out there. But we have somehow, within 15 minutes, turned this game on its head. Singo. Ugh. Got that cross. Uh, don't really want to bring Single off in a minute because he's one of my best defenders right now. Oh! Find exactly the reason I don't want to bring Single off. He's just gone in the unfield. Oh! Ho, ho. Look at this. John, now I'll bring him off. Now I'll bring him off. Single has gone from the corner. That's why you have a six foot three right back. Because he can do things like that from the corner. And we have turned this game on his head. With 10 men. Unreal stuff. Come on, boys. What is going on? And then we're going to bring him off because he's absolutely gassed. And we're going to bring Lawrence Gabriel on. Let's go. What is happening here, lads? And Green not letting Kolozeski pass him this time. Second goal 
goalkeeper mistake you've made this season. What is this, the, this save? You've made that save so... What is that? What is that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let the ball go. Oh, God. of course it's him. Of course it's him. I hate him. I want to kill him. I want to murder him. I hate him. He's such an annoying one. Oh, I hate him. Why is it the last minute of the game? You can never get a ball off them. You can never get a ball off them. Oh, and... Oh, there you go. Now you blow it! You absolute corrupt! I'll tell you right now who I blame. One, Jared Braithwaite, because he's so goddamn slow. And two, Raya. Two times, both of them shots I feel like he should have done better with. Absolutely disgraceful. And we have just dropped a point. More, to be honest, because of that Uruguayan dickhead. So we're in transfer deadline day. So many things I could do, but... Um, I've got 7.7 .7 for Lawrence Gabriel. I just... No. Not interested in selling him. I feel like he'll become useful in the other competitions. Got an offer for Moda for Maximilian Arnold. I mean, I'm not completely against selling him and maybe getting someone else in, but I'd want a good amount for him, really. Um, to be honest, I bought him for like 15 million. He's on the bench now. Again, if we got him, maybe that opens the door getting someone else in, but I am not interested in, in a swap deal, really. Banner Gittens, 59 million now for him, but again, not interested. He's worth 50 million on the dot, so we could have got quite a bit for him, but again, it's like finding someone who's good as him, and there's not that many who are up and coming right now. So we have got an agreement. Do you know what? I'm, I'm not against this. Because obviously we've got Angel Gomez. Even though Mode is not bad, but he hasn't grown. He's had a couple of big, big injuries. But I've just, he's just stumped his growth, and he's not actually. I think in a whole season, got up by one overall. I think he was like 80 overall when we bought him. Maybe 79 overall at best. So I feel like this is not a bad thing to do. He's getting, getting nearly 30 million for him. It means we've got about 50 million to go out and spend on an actual centre midfielder. What I'm happy with. And there is a confirmation. Jakob Moda has gone to Frankfurt for £28.6 million. Pounds. I know it seems to be a thing like I'm constantly just selling the players I'm buying. you got to think, the whole reason this is we buy players for the time when we need them and then we replace them with players when we can get them at a the time. So at this point in time, like, let's just, just check how much money we've got to work with. We've got f just less than £50 million. I'd say about 45, 40 to be realistic with wage and stuff. So we've got quite a, a little bit to work with now. I mean, we've got some options. So I've got a few options for the midfield. Obviously, I've got Amadou Onana, who I've not got all the information on him, but looking at overalls and stuff, he looks like he's an overall nice midfielder. Got Szymanski from Sassuolo. He's more of an attacking midfielder. Um, he doesn't. He's not really a defender. 
I've got Florentino from her for Berlin. He's not got much physicality as in like um, acceleration or balance or even jumping. Um, he's a, definitely more of a defensive type and he's obviously a good tackler. Um, um, I feel like I need that more defensive member right now because I've got Kamavinga who's a bit of an all-rounder. I've got Gomez who's more of in the attacking sense. I feel like someone like Onana or Florentino could be the way to go right now. I can't lie, I'm liking the look of Amadou Onana. In fact, he's six foot four. He looks a bit of a beast. He's twenty four, so he's got room to grow. You know what? I feel like I might take a chance here. I don't know how much he'd be going for though. What I'll do, I'll see what I can get for all these players, and I'll see, and I'll get back to you. So I have made the decision to go out and set and splash thirty million pounds on Amadou Onana, and he's eighty overall. Do you know what? I'll take that. He's the same overall as Moda, but he has more potential, and we pretty much spent the exact same amount. And I feel like Onana's a little bit more well-rounded in what he's doing. So. And I feel like we, I feel like we can make a beast out of him. I honestly do. So I'm, I'm really, really hoping we can. Probably what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, as pains is, is it as painful as it is? I'm going to put Anana in the starting eleven for now, and Scott on the bench. He could very well win that space back, but he's just got to sort of work on a bit of stuff and. He's not made the greatest starts in the Premier League so far, so I'm going to give Anana his, his start and see how he does. First game against Leeds, I'm going to simulate this one because uh, we've got our first Europa League game after this, so I really want to play that. Get a draw. Edwards and Yates gets us that. I'll take a draw, I suppose. I'd have liked to, especially being at home, getting the win, but um, get Braithwaite's suspension out of the way as well. But. I want to finish this episode on this game against AZ Alkmaar. Okay, because cause it's obviously it's the start of our European journey, Blackpool. Let's do a little press conference to get it going. Hi, guys. I think we're ready for questions now. Minister, you turn down off the for Royal Reed from Nice. Are you hoping to keep the play after all? He come from for you, can it? Absolutely. It's not all about the money. He's an important player. I want him to be part of this club. Wondering why he played one game. He's played one game. Oh my God! Give the lad a chance. Uh, yeah, we can't wait to start this European campaign. So come on, guys. I'm gonna maybe rotate a little bit, but let's get into this game. series and God knows how many years it's been since Blackpool last ever had a European match To my knowledge, I don't actually remember if Blackpool have actually ever been in like a major European tournament, so this could be a historic moment for Blackpool FC. We are in the Dutch capital. This is a big opportunity. I've made only two substitutions, Brick giving Nicholas a run out, as you can see, and Alex Scott makes his way back into the starting lineup. With Angel Gomez going to the bench for this game. But Braithwaite is back in. Let's see how we go. I was thinking about making more changes, but for this game, for this first game, I want to get a win, so. So 
have a little look at his team. So we've got Matty Ryan in, get, in goal. We've got Jordan Crossing playing for them. Mavadidi. So some nice players in there. We really have. We've got a decent team. So we can't underestimate this team. These are probably going to be one of the hardest teams in the group. So getting a win here will give us a massive boost going forward in the group. Our first Europa League game. Let's go get it, guys. Let's hope we start better than we did against Liverpool. We're already doing better by not letting them get straight for us. Reed makes that tackle. Great stuff from Wilfred Singo. Dealing with Carlson. Oh, that is a fabulous way to open the scoring. And not only that, it's to get our first European goal. Burn against take a Balson. What a finish. It's Singo with a cross. He's picked out Burn against with a brilliant finish. Oh, that is spectacular. That is just ruthless. Bash is powered past Ryan. No chance in this out man again. Jamie Bano Gittens pulling the strings. And Singo again, proving why I brought him in. Being the assist getter. Good line, let's go. Again with a great save. Gonna make some more changes, just freshen this team up. An actual day one player in Lawrence Gable is actually gonna make a European debut today. Alex Scott! Oh! Ryan again, somehow saving this. Very quick. Edwards as well there. Good stuff there. Now Edwards. Scott, ah, there we go. That will seal the result. Alex Scott with the goal. His first European goal in his career. Good stuff there. It's a great little bit of work there. K. Jorge put it through to Edwards. I mean, he put it on a plate, really. And then Ryan just falling flat on his arse. No chance. to get his first goal but Blackpool get their first win in European football first win of the series as well in Europe that guy was brilliant all game everyone put in a big shift we deserve that again we need to be more critical but other than that 10 out of 10 a clean sheet let's go boys Okay, so I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm quite happy with that win. That was a good way to end that, that to be fair. I've um, got quite a few games left of this. I've got a few loans and stuff all lined up like this Sonic Harry one. 
I'm sort of wanting to give him time just to go out. I don't really want to let go of every single person. Just want to get some people out and loan. But I'm so glad that we got our first European win. That's a big dub. We've got some big games coming up against uh, people like Newcastle. We've got a cup game as well. So we may, may play that. Uh, at the current moment, we're 12th place. Again, I kind of want to be higher at this point. But again, you got to remember, it is our, it's our only second season. Still, even though we've got a couple of nice players, this team is still growing. So, hopefully in this coming season, this is going to be another hell of a growth uh, season. Hopefully we can do well in the Europa League, but we'll find out. Uh, I'll be back with another episode very, very soon. Uh, keep liking the videos, guys. Also, subscribe so I know you want to see more episodes. And I'm going to keep doing this series until we win the Champions League at least. Depending on how quickly we do that. Maybe I might do another season or two extra. I want to do this until this team is like too good. That's what I want. And this team's far from finished. So I'm really happy to, and excited to see where this goes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next episode. I am out.